Hi, this is Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project, bringing another video on Super Power Calculator. Um, in this video, what I want to do is demonstrate how to generate a uh, treadmill specific S uh, CP uh, based on an outdoor CP test. Um, when you uh, are using the Stride Wind Pod. Um, when you're running outdoors with the Stride Wind Pod, uh, you're uh, overcoming air resistance and air power is reported as an add-on to the power to overcome uh, for running resistance in hills and so forth. So when you're running outdoors, you're at same speed, your power is gonna be higher than on treadmill. On the treadmill, air power is not going to be reported. It's going to be zero. Um, so at same speed, on the treadmill, power is going to be lower. So that means CP relative to outdoor is going to be lower as well on the treadmill. Um, so if you do an outdoor CP test, you can actually generate two values, two CP values from that test, one being the outdoor CP, another being the treadmill CP. That's what I want to demonstrate here today. So the, uh, the, the starting point is selecting the proper calculator, which is uh, calculate FTP, CP, and reservoir capacity from a CP test. So this is one of the options under calculate FTP CP, you select that one and uh, we'll work with that. Um, in this, uh, again, like all the calculators, uh, required entry elements are in this gold uh, color. Our uh, optional elements are in blue and the, and the outcome results are in green. Um, I, this, I'm gonna use an actual CP test and um, and generate both an outdoor CP and a treadmill CP. So this is a male runner using a Stride Wind Pod. Um, and this video is specific to the Stride Wind Pod users. Um, and then I'll put in the the activities. Uh, I just preloaded this one. Uh, the runner ran 450 watts for two minutes and 54 seconds. This is a good thing to note is that um, you, you don't have to run exactly three minutes and exactly 10 minutes. Um, uh, select that the, the power data that, that is optimal. Um, well, let's say you are finishing a test and you have still a little juice left. You, you run for five seconds more and you put in 10.05 if that's what you ran. So you don't have to be confined to an exact number. It's whatever you ran for your test. So in this case, he ran 454, uh, 454 watts for two minutes and 54 seconds and um, 406 watts for uh, nine minutes and 59 seconds. So if I just enter that, that's what he did outdoors. I come over here, scroll down to the results, and the CP was 386 watts with a reserve work capacity of 11.8 kilojoules, which is uh, right in the middle as I switch to look at the table. It's, it's actually right in sort of in the, the, the middle range of uh, the mean plus or minus one standard deviation. So it's um, uh, a you know, pretty uh, average um, <clears throat> reserve work capacity for a wind pod male user, um, and is indicative that that the um, the, the values here are probably um, valid, meaning the reserve work capacity is not an outlier being too high or too low, which would uh, raise a little bit of of uh, concern about the validity of the CP test. Um, so that's the basic use of the calculator for an outdoor CP test, but we want to get uh, a treadmill CP since this runner runs on the treadmill. 
So what we have here is you could come over and scroll and put in an optional element. You put in the air power. Now notice we have we have uh, drop down boxes that allow you to change the units. So so on Stride Power Center, if it's reported as a percent of air power, um, uh, air power as a percent of the total power, um, just enter the percent here. I'm entering watts because I, I actually know that I have the data channel and, and actually know that he, um, air power is 45 watts in the, the shorter test and it was 31 watts in the longer test. If I it was on power center, I'd, I'd also, I could come in here and actually put the percentages, which was uh, uh, 10% here and 8% um, here. And uh, that, that's based on percentage. So same thing, we're just entering with different units. Um, typically, just as an aside, typically, if you're looking at air power uh, in a CP test, the, um, the percentage of air power in a longer test is going to be a little bit lower in most cases and a little bit higher. Why? Because the runner is going faster in the short duration test than in the longer. It's a, at a higher speed in the short duration test. Higher speed means greater air resistance to overcome um, the air resistance at that speed. So um, I'm going to go back and I change the units again back to watts and go from there. Um, so 45 and 31, and there you go. So I've entered the air power. So what superpower calculator does, it will then subtract out automatically, subtract out the air power from the, the total power on the outdoor test and generate what the value would have been if there was zero air power, i.e. as if the runner was on the treadmill. So uh, that's what it does automatically in the background. Um, if we go back to the main tab to look at the results, we can actually see now we have the total power, which is the outdoor power of 386 watts. But when we subtract out air power and we just have the, um, the uh, power to overcome running resistance in hills and climbing, um, in other words, the, what's left is treadmill power. Um, we get 361 watts as a CP. So there's a big difference here because of the uh, loss of air power the CP at a treadmill is going to be lower. In this case, 361 watts, PRC. Um, so that is how you would go ahead and get two values from one outdoor CP test. You have a outdoor CP. This is what you base your training on if you're running outdoors. And um, you get a value for a treadmill. Um, and again, that is based on you entering an air power figure. If you do that, then you're going to get both of these values. Now, I'm going to take it one step further. All of our calculators that estimate FTP and so on allow you to adjust for conditions. Now, Remember, an out, running outdoors may be different than the conditions you're going to be doing indoors. So we're going to modify that. We're going to uh, do a hypothetical here. Let's say the runner was at 100, uh, 100 meters and outdoors it was uh, 16 and uh, 60%. Pretty good running conditions. But indoor, 
the, they're still at the same altitude, but um, the temperature is warmer in the room they're running their treadmill. Let's say the, the temperature is, um, is 20. And because, uh, you know, a fan may not be as efficient as running outdoors in terms of uh, lowering that relative humidity just in your environment, maybe there's a little bit higher relative to humidity. And I'm just going to uh, put in, again, hypothetically, 80%. So once I do that, what the conditions were in the CP test outdoors and what the conditions will be indoors, it will give you the, these adjusted figures. So, so now you can see, or, or this is the unadjusted that we went over before, um, and it'll give you the adjusted figure. So let's say... Um, if the conditions were exactly the same in the treadmill environment as the outdoor CP test, you would just use this 361 watt, uh, what you got from the uh, just subtracting out air power. Um, but if you also adjust the conditions, you can see that it's about 356 watts in that little slightly warmer environment than the outdoor test. So this is just an, uh, an, an added nuance if you want to really fine tune uh, your treadmill um, CP based on the actual conditions in the room that you're going to be doing your, your uh, testing They're, if they are different than the outdoor conditions where the CP test was actually conducted. So let me, uh, let me summarize. Um, you're going to do, if you're a stride out, uh, wind pod user and you do you split your time between outdoor running and, and indoor running, do an outdoor CP test, one test, um, three minute, 10 minute protocol, whatever the protocol you use happens to be. Then use the super power ca calculator to come in here and enter your, your outdoor power, your power for your three minute and 10 minute test but also scroll over, enter your air power, whether it's in raw watts or, um, or percent of the total power, which is what Power Center re reports. Um, enter that here uh, and then go back to the main and you'll, you're going to get a, um, a CP figure minus the air power um, and it's going to be lower than the outdoor CP. Um, Lastly, as we demonstrated, you can come in here and further adjust from the outdoor CP test conditions to the conditions that you're going to be running in on the treadmill um, and, and further fine tune that, that CP, that treadmill CP. Um, so hopefully this helps. Um, I will... Um, um, Put the link to the article I, run, I wrote on treadmill running with power uh, in the description of uh, this video. I hope you liked it. hope it's helpful. We'll see you the next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.